Here was the plan. The plan was to customize a PS4 controller and an Xbox controller. But as soon as I put that on Instagram, I had two friends reach out asking if I could paint controllers for them. Shout out to Bosa and Davis. The plan didn't change much, but now I have two PS4 controllers and two Xbox controllers, making four controllers in total, which is dope. And I thought, yeah, we could hide or dip a PS4 controller in an Xbox controller and then just paint the other PS4 controller and paint the other Xbox controller. But first, we had to take the controllers apart. And since I just moved down here to Texas, I don't have any tools, so we had to go to Lowe's. I took apart the PS4 controller and thought to myself, well, it's pretty easy. I primed up the controller and then started to paint it and found out that the PS4 controller is not easy. It's actually hard. The primer plus the five layers of paint I tried just did not work at all. I got pretty discouraged and then just took off all the paint and reprimed it. I took apart the other controller, primed that controller, and now I had two controllers ready to get hydro dipped. And yes, you heard me correctly, hydro dip. I used to hydro dip a ton and I haven't done it in a while, so I apologize, but this is my, my comeback season. This is the redemption, if you will. As some of you may know, I've hydro dipped shoes, pumpkin, piggy banks, phone, like you name it, I've, I've hydro dipped it. And now the moment you've probably been waiting for is the hydro dip portion of this video. Now it's time to insert this hydro dip montage. Uncool? I'm thinking cool. Actually, very cool. So things things are looking good, you know? How to dip these controllers, they came out cool. But now it's time for the Xbox controllers. Turns out you need a different screwdriver for Xbox controllers. So, it's time to go back to Lowe's. Try taking apart one of the controllers, and controller number one had a stripped screw. So, I didn't have the proper tools and frankly I just gave up and said, you know what, I'm not going to customize this Xbox controller. The second controller though, I actually got it apart and it was pretty straightforward. It was a lot easier than the PS4 controller, a lot less parts. And then I thought to myself, I already hydro dipped in this video and I've tried painting. There's got to be something else I can do. We can spray paint this Xbox controller. And what do you know, it's time for another art montage. What are you thinking? Cool? Uncool? 
Again, I'm thinking cool, very cool. In fact, very, very cool. I love the three colors and the, the black splats of paint. I'm not gonna lie, I think it did pretty well. The next step is just to use some clear coat, uh, a little protecting spray, if you will, just to make sure nothing gets too damaged. And then it was time to reassemble the controllers, which actually took a long time. It was very delicate and, you know, I didn't know if I should touch certain things, so I forgot to plug in certain things and got a, it's a lot of moving parts, a lot of moving parts. And, you know, this is the, the grand finale. This is the, the moment you've been waiting for to see these controllers all done. So let's commence the B-roll. A couple keynotes you might want to jot down is to subscribe and also uh, you might be curious when's the giveaway happening? Giveaway is happening right now. So there's the PS4 controller, the other PS4 controller, and the Xbox controller. PS4 controller is going to a friend, shout out to Bosa. The Xbox controller is going to a friend, shout out Davis, which leaves us one more PS4 controller and that is gonna be in the giveaway. How to enter this giveaway is pretty straightforward. You gotta to subscribe to this channel and then DM me on Instagram, at Nick Ivy, your favorite video game. There's one rule, you have to live in the United States. And secondly, I will be announcing the winner on this date. There's one last thing. Have a dope day. Smiley face. Peace.